sufficient for you. What's the challenge before you? His grace is sufficient for you. What's the problem on your way? His grace is sufficient for you. What's the thing that is pinching you tonight? His grace is sufficient for you. What's the need of your life? His grace is sufficient for you. What poverty is trying to grab your family, swallow up your family, His grace is sufficient for you tonight. My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. When you feel weak, depressed, down, that grace will come and lift you up. Because it says that your weakness will experience the perfect power of God tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. As a, ch as a child of God, God has grace for you. Abundant grace for you. Exceedingly abundant grace for you. Sufficient grace for you. Great grace for you. God's might is yours tonight. God's strength is yours tonight. God's power is yours tonight. God's authority is over you tonight. God's support is for you tonight. God's help is for you tonight. The amen is dying down. Divine enablement is for you tonight. Courage, courage, courage to face the future. And courage to overcome is for you tonight. And the conviction to live a victorious life, you got it tonight in Jesus' name. Point number two now, point number two now. Do you remember point number two? What is it? Conquering the mighty giants through the almighty. We're coming to Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. The children of Israel were now about to get to the promised land. It was a land flowing with milk and honey. And then as they got to the border, they sent spies out. And those spies came back and they gave a report and they reported of the giants. And because of those giants, they were not able to get in to the promised land. They didn't understand. They didn't accept that they will overcome giants. You know, as a believer, as a real child of God, and you're going to the mountaintop. I said you're going to the mountaintop. You're going to reach your destination. Because joy is before you, yeah. happiness before you, yeah. success before you, yeah. victory before you, yeah. healing and health before you, yeah. deliverance and dominion before you. Yeah. It's a land flowing with milk and honey. What God created you for, you are going to achieve. Yeah. But you know, if you don't understand that the giants on the way. When you see the giants, then you say, what will I do? Tonight, you are going to conquer every giant against your life in Jesus' name. <laughs> numbers, 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 chapter, numbers uh, ch uh, chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 25. It says in verse 25, and they returned from searching the land after 40 days. And they went and came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh. And they brought back watch unto them, unto all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. Your future is fruitful. The promised land is fruitful. Once you cross over, I'm crossing over, I said, once you cross over that fruitful land, you'll experience in Jesus' name. Verse 27, and he told him, and he said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, uh -huh, there's a problem now. Nevertheless, the people. Be strong that dwell in the land. And the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw 
the children of Anak there. And the Amalekites dwell in the land in this, of the south. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once. Let us go up at once. Don't talk discouraging words to anybody or to yourself. Let us go up at once. Don't shed those tears of sorrow anymore. Let us go up at once. Don't sit back and don't stay back. Let us go up at once. Something good is before us. We're going up. Something wonderful is ahead of us. We're going up. And something exciting, interesting. And this is what you are made for. This is why God called you out of the land of Egypt. It's before us a land flowing with milk and honey. Let us go up. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? It says, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. I am well able. I am well able. Giants will not stop you. I am well able. Sickness will not stop you. I am well able. Evil powers will not stop you. I am well able. Demons will not stop you. I am well able. Scarcity, famine, poverty will not stop you. I am well able. No accommodation will not stop you. I am well able. Enemies in the land will not stop you. I am well able. For we are well able to overcome it. Verse 31, but the men that went up with him said, we be not able that's their confession. That's not my confession. I said, that's not my confession. I am able. You are able. We are able. Deeper life is able. They said, they said, this is their own, this is their own thought. We be not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. And they brought an evil report of the land which... They had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people of the that we saw in it are men of great stature, their giants, and there we saw, and there we saw, did you see their God? And there we saw. They didn't see the mountain mover, and there they saw. They didn't see the miracle worker, and there they saw. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight. They were not new creatures. They were in their own sight. They were not soldiers in the army of God, but they were, what, what were they? There were grasshoppers, and so were we in their sight. Giants. The giants in that the princes and the people of Israel from entering in and possessing the promised land. Look at that statement. Look at that statement. The giants hindered the princes and the people of Israel from entering and possessing the promised land. That statement is not true. It's not correct. It's not the giants that hindered them. The majority of the children of Israel did not even see the giants. Only these spies that went. Only these certain people that came back and said we saw. All the 70 elders, they didn't see the giants. All the tribes, they didn't see the giants. All the multitudes, they didn't see the giants. They only got a report. And they said, giants are there. Giants are there. You will not even see them. I said, you will not even see them. Now, what really happened to them? Number one, fear of man. Fear of man. Fear of man. It was a fear of the giants. Not the giants. Not the giants. It's the fear of the giants that stopped them. Number one, 
fear of man. Number two, forgetfulness of his might. They forgot the might of the Lord. If they were able to think, they remember that Pharaoh is more than a giant. The magicians of Egypt were more than giants. And yet the mighty power of God subdued Pharaoh, subdued the chariots, and subdued all the magicians. But you know what? They forgot the might of the Lord. Every time remember the moment of his might. When you come to a crossroad, this is the moment of his might. When you come to challenge your life, this is the moment of his might. And I can tell you, you will overcome. Number three, it was focus on their mountain. Focus on their mountain. They were not looking at the creator of the heavens and the earth. They were not looking at the creator of the mountain. They were not looking at the one who is able to remove that mountain. They were focusing on their mountain. Number four, the feebleness of mind. The feebleness of mind. They were not strong in their minds. They were not strong in their conviction. They were not strong in their faith. It was the feebleness of their mind that stopped them. Number five, faithlessness in the ministers. And faithlessness in the members. Faithlessness in the mixed multitude. You see, the ministers, none of the ministers rose up except Caleb and Joshua. All the others, they kept quiet when the people were crying. When the people were turning back, when the people said, we're going to choose a captain and to lead us back, these people, they had faithlessness, ministers had faithlessness, members had faithlessness, the mixed multitude had faithlessness. Number six, you know what really troubled them? Number six, familiarity with miracle manner. Every day that morning, they took miracle manner and they became so familiar, and familiarity brings contempt. They became so familiar, they need to understand there's no nation on earth. There are no people on earth. There is no kingdom on earth sustained by the bread of heaven. Every day, every week, every month, every year for 40 years. And yet, because of their familiarity with the miracle manner, they forgot all about that, and they were crying, the giants, the giants. No, the giants are not your problem. It's the fear of the giants. It's the fear of man. Number seven, fault finding with Moses. Fault finding with Moses. They forgot how God had used Moses for them. And when they said they were giants, all they could have done is said, Moses, go to God. You always go to God. Moses, tell God. You always tell God. Moses, whatever the problem by the Red Sea, we know you can, this problem will solve you and God. If we cannot pray, Moses can pray. And because Moses can pray, we know that this problem is going to be solved. But they began to find fault with Moses. Why have you brought us here to die in the wilderness? Is there no grave in Egypt that you brought us here? And then fault finding with Moses. That was the thing that actually made them not to inherit. I will inherit. I said, I will inherit. Now there are some people, you are asking me the question. I'm going to answer the question. Are there giants today? Are there giants today? Yes, but I'm going to use the, the letters of the word giant. Tell me the first letter there. G is the God of the heathens, the God of the heathens. We're coming to, we're coming to for Samuel, for Samuel chapter 17. For Samuel chapter 17, I'm reading here from verse 4, and it says, And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of the of Gaz, whose height was six a cubits and a span. We're going to conquer him. That Goliath, I said we're going to conquer him. Actually, do you know that Goliath, although they were looking at the stature, and they see him as a giant, they saw him as a giant, actually, look at where he put his strength and confidence. Look at verse 43. Verse 43, it says, And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog, that thou camest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David, tell me, by his gods. That was actually his confidence. It was not his spear. It was not his arrow. 
It was not his armor bearer. What he was standing on as a giant was his gods, his gods, his idols. And then he caused David by his gods. Those giants are still there today. Sometimes in the village. Sometimes it's superstition. Sometimes it's evil power. Sometimes it's magical power. Sometimes it's talisman. Sometimes it's idol. And then you say, that person has vowed that you will never have a child in your life. How did he vow? This is nobody. It's depending upon his God. We're going to conquer that God today. That person has said, as long as he's alive, this will never happen. I'm telling you, that good thing will happen. He will live to see your promotion. He will live to see your upliftment. Hey, look at this, look at this, verse 44. And the Philistines said to David, come to me. And I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield, but I come. Somebody there, I come. Don't run, don't run, don't run away. I come. Don't put your head in the sand and say, I don't know what I'm going to do. These people are terrible. They're going to destroy me. Uh-uh. Rise up. Look at them eyeball to eyeball. That idol of theirs will be burnt in everlasting fire. It says, it says, I come. Somebody help me shout, I come. I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day, when is your miracle? Yeah. When is the manifestation of his might in your life? This day, will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee. He didn't have a sword. He didn't have a sword. But the sword of the Spirit, the word of God, will smite that Goliath. I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. There's God at Magadha. I said, there's God at Magadha. Yeah. Look at verse 47. And all this army shall know that the Lord saveth not with the sword or spear. For the battle is, is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass when the Philistines uh, arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hasted and ran and ran. Run away. Why are you running away? Don't you have God? Is God not to fight your battle for you? Why are you hiding? Come out and run. I said, come out and run. Where are you? I said, come out and run. Remove that garment of weakness. And that garment of depression. And that garment of crying. And that garment of hero secrecy, hiding yourself, come out, you will run. And he ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took this stone and slung it. And he smote the Philistine, you will smite them. In his forehead, that the stone sunk into, the for into his forehead and he fell Goliath will fall. Your giant will fall. Their gods will fall. And fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed. David prevailed. Put your name there. Put your name there. David prevailed. Put your, not just I. Not just I. Put your name. David prevailed. You have prevailed. Over the Philistines. With a sling. And with a stone, and he smote the Philistine, and he slew him. For, but there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore, David ran. David
David ran. David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out. Their own sword will destroy them. Their own evil will destroy them. And he drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his edge therewith. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. And the children of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until they come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shara, Sharim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel, are they here tonight? The Israel of God, I said I did here tonight. Yeah. And it says that the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines and they spoiled their tents. Are you there? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. G for their gods. I infirmity. That's a giant in front of some people. I've been mean, here. This infirmity, this sickness. I cannot move. I cannot rise. I wanted to do exam. Every time I want to do exam, this infirmity will come. You conquer the giant tonight. Look at chapter 5 of John. John chapter 5, the giant of infirmity. John chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 5. It says in verse 5, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity, that's a, that was a giant, 30 and 8 years, and when Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time, in that case, says unto him, wilt thou be made whole tonight? Wilt thou be made whole? And the important man answered, sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. And Jesus says unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately, giant of infirmity defeated. And immediately, I said the giant of infirmity defeated. The man was made whole, and he took up his bed, and he walked. Somebody there, and he walked. Somebody there, and he walked. The fracture is healed. Somebody there, you are healed, and you walk. The lameness goes away, and then you rise up, and you walk. And all the weakness, everything, I cannot rise up, and you rise up, and you walk, and you walk, and you walk, and you walk. And you walk. It will happen tonight. And then it says, and the same day was a Sabbath day. That means uh, the day of the moment of his might. A, the adversaries, the adversaries, the adversaries. You see, that's a giant standing in front of some people. Anytime you make your plans, anytime you set your goal, anytime you want to raise the, uh, you know, the, the platform of your achievement higher, there you have the adversary. And the adversary is saying, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you planning? We're still here. You thought you are going to make progress. Not that we think, we know. Somebody there, I said, you know. Giants will not stop you. I said, giants will not stop you. Look at this, look at this. We're looking at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Uh, I'm reading from verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. It says, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me. Do you know there's an open door before you? Doors of opportunity. Doors of progress. Doors of achievement. is before you tonight. And look at this. For a great door and effectual is opened unto me. And tell me. Those are the giants. Those are the giants. And there are many adversaries. But thank God you have overcome. 
this day I have overcome. I said, this day you have overcome. First Peter, First Peter, chapter 5, First Peter, chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. He cannot fail, he careth for you. He will not disappoint you, he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a running lion, walketh about, seeking whom he will devour. And I'm not one of them. Whom receives steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplishing your brethren that are in the world I have overcome. And of the giants, this may surprise you, means nothing. Nothing. I want to buy something, there's no money, nothing. I want to even buy the form so that I can take exam, there's no money, nothing. I want to move here, I don't have any contact. And it's not what you know, it's who you know, nothing. Nothing is like a giant before many people. And they don't have the strength, they don't have the resources, they don't have anything at all, and there is nothing. Supply will come today. Yeah. Miracle surplus will come today. Yeah. That nothing, a big zero in your life, that stands in your way, I don't have anything, I don't have anybody, I don't have any material thing, and I don't have any money, and no provision, nothing, standing as a giant, is conquered. Yeah. Luke chapter 5. In Luke chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 4. Luke chapter 5, verse 4. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught you are going to catch. And in verse 5, and Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken and have taken that gives people depression it gives them distress it gives them sorrow it makes them look at the future the future is bleak and black the future is like there's no future because we have nothing. We have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy watch tonight, this moment of might, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break. Net breaking blessing tonight. Net breaking breakthrough tonight. Net breaking prosperity tonight. Where there was nothing, everything is going to come. The giants, the giants of their gods, the giants of infirmity, the giants of uh, adversaries, the giants of nothingness, the giants of terror, terror. They're terrified because look at what is happening. Look at the news we're hearing. Look at what they're saying from the village. Look at what they're saying from everywhere. And this terror comes to them as, uh, as uh, you know, a giant. And it's like, where can we go? How far can we reach? All those terrors are taken away tonight. Look at Isaiah chapter 54, and I'm reading from verse, uh, I'm reading from verse 14. Isaiah chapter 54, reading from verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be established. In righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. A new day has come. A new possibility has come. You'll be far from oppression in Jesus' name. <laughs> Thou shalt not fear. Giants will not stop you. The fear of giants will not stop you. And from terror, for it shall not come near you. 
from terror it shall not come near you but 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me says the Lord somebody shout amen, amen. Jeremiah chapter 15 Jeremiah chapter 15 Jeremiah chapter 15 I'm reading here from verse 20 and I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee says the Lord and I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hands of the terrible. You'll walk over them. You will march over them. You will move on in Jesus' name. Giants, G for gods, I for infirmity, a for adversaries, N for nothingness, T for terror, S for the storm. Storms of life hinder some people and they cannot, you know, they're galloping and they're running and they're saying, I'm going there, I'm getting it. They're excited. All of a sudden, a storm arises and that storm becomes like a giant standing before them and it's like oh they've come again they've started again no you're going to overcome yeah. i said you will overcome yeah. mark chapter 4 mark chapter 4 verse 35 and the same day when the evening was come he says unto them he says unto you i said he says unto you let us pass over to the other side you are going to the other side you remained on this side for too long a time now the day of progress has come the day of success has come the day of achievement has come the day of victory has come the day of dominion has come let us pass over onto the other side and when he had sent away the multitude. They took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Look at this, look at this. Verse 37. And there arose. And there arose. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship. So that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on the pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? No, you will not perish. He told you I will make you fishers of men. You cannot perish. He said you are going to reign over the twelve tribes of Israel. You cannot perish. He said these are my brothers, my sisters, and my mother. Doing the will of God, you cannot perish. He says I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you unto myself. So that where I am, there you will be also. How can you perish? Who is telling you a lie that you will perish? Who is deceiving you, blindfolding you that you will perish? You will not perish. I said you will not perish. In verse 39, and he arose, is arising for you. And he rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm in your life there's going to be a great calm in your soul there's going to be a great calm that giant is defeated the giant of the storm is conquered in your life in jesus name psalm 107 psalm 107 i'm reading from verse 29 psalm 107 verse 29 psalm 107 tell me the verse Look at it, look at it. He maketh the storm a calm. 
so that the waves thereof are still. The giant of a storm in your life, that thing that is running, that thing that is doing like they will swallow you up, everything is calm tonight. Verse 20, verse 20 of that same Psalm 107, he sent his word. Where is he sending the word tonight? He sent his word and he healed them. I can see them there. He healed them. I behold the healing there. He healed them. I see all the ache and all the pain and all the fever and he healed them. I see the person that is saying, I didn't even want to come. I, I didn't know I could reach here today. And he healed them. <laughs> he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Giants are conquered tonight. You are going to move forward. Everything that tried to stop your way, the giants, they are conquered tonight. And what Caleb will shout, what Caleb will say, let us go up at once. Everybody, let us go up at once. For we are well able. I will go up. At once today. Even before this week runs out, I'm going to achieve. I said before this week runs out, you are going to achieve. You are well able. What are you? You are well able. You are well able. All the giants are cleared out of your way in Jesus' name. Point number three now. Point number three now. Confirming the measureless gifts of the Almighty. Confirmation tonight. My brother there, I said confirmation tonight. My sister, daughter there, I said confirmation tonight. Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I'm reading from chapter 32. Jeremiah. Chapter 32, and I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah, chapter 32, we're reading from verse 17. You are conquering. Look at this. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. In my life, there is nothing too hard for thee. All these challenges around you, there is nothing too hard for him. All this sickness, all this infirmity, there is nothing too hard for him. He'll solve your problem tonight. Verse 18, thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands. The thousands who are here tonight. Thou showest loving kindness unto, I said unto, he's blessing everybody tonight. How can he pass you by? He's saving all sinners tonight. How can he pass you by? He's healing all sick people here tonight. How can he pass you by? He's showing his love to everyone, all the thousands here tonight. How can he pass you by? He shows loving kindness unto thousands and recompenses the iniquity of the fathers in the bosom of their children after them. And the great and mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name, great in counsel mighty in war for thine eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give everyone according to his ways according to the fruit of his doing he'll give you something before you go Isaiah Isaiah chapter 55 Isaiah chapter 55 reading from verse 6 seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he's near let the wicked forsake his way, and the, and the righteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. Mercy tonight. Mercy tonight. Grace tonight. The goodness of God tonight, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither your ways, my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, coming upon you, and the snow from heaven, 
and returneth not hither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be. So shall my promise be. So, so shall my strength be. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It shall accomplish. In your life tonight, it shall accomplish that. It shall accomplish that that I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy. Tonight, ye shall go out with joy. Every day of this week, of this month, of this year, ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the sun shall come the fir tree. Instead of briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name and for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. God's gifts are available for you today. His offer of unlimited power is available for you today. Christ has paid the price and Christ has shed his blood so that you'll have the gift of salvation, full salvation. You'll have the gift of righteousness the gift of sanctification, the gift of healing, the gift of health, the gift of endowment of power from on high. Power upon you tonight. Power baptism. Fire baptism. Every chaff in your life, it will burn away tonight in Jesus' name. Complete deliverance. No partial deliverance tonight. I got a little, uh-uh. You're not getting a little tonight. You're getting complete deliverance in Jesus' name. Yeah. Dominion. Yeah. Authority. Yeah. Sufficient supply. Yeah. Answers to prayer. Yeah. You're going to have a fuller life. Yeah. You're going to have a richer life. Yeah. You're going to have a deeper life. I've been hearing, I've been hearing of deeper life, deeper life, deeper life. And, you know, I didn't even understand how deep it will be, how high it will be, how broad it will be, how great it will be tonight, tonight. Somebody there tonight. You're going to have richer life, deeper life, fuller life in Jesus' name. Higher life. Greater life. The inner life. All things are available for you now. Happiness, that's yours. Yeah. Healing, that's yours. Yeah. Holiness, that's yours. Yeah. And heaven, that's yours. Yeah. Inheritance, that is yours. Yeah. Because tonight, we come to the Almighty. I said tonight, you come to the Almighty. Every prayer you pray tonight will be answered. Yeah. Everything you open your mouth to tell the Lord tonight, it is done already in Jesus' name. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Now unto him that is able to do Is our God able to do tonight? Is the Almighty able to do tonight? He will do I said he will do Now unto him that is able to do Exceeding abundantly above All that we ask or think I'm going to go back there Because I need, this one is just for me I said, this one is for me. I said, this one is for me. Unto him that is able. Unto him that is able. Able to do. Exceeding abundantly. Above all that I ask. All that I think. According to the power that worketh in me. Unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, worlds without end. And somebody said, Amen. Amen has entered your house. Amen has entered your heart. This is your moment, your moment of might, your moment of might. I see Amen written on your forehead. 
I see amen on your way. Step amen. Amen. As you are walking, one, two, one, two, amen, amen, amen. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, amen, amen, amen. This is the moment, this is the moment of his might, the moment of his power, the moment of his provision, and the moment of your miracle. It's doing it tonight, it's doing it tonight, it's doing it tonight, it's doing it tonight, it's your moment. It's your moment. This moment will not pass you by. It will forgive your sin. This moment will not pass you by. It will break every chain, every shackle in your life. This moment will not pass you by. It will heal your sickness. It will provide for you. All those giants are cancelled. All the gods of the land against your life. All of them, they are brought down tonight. All of them, they are brought down tonight. That's an amen in your life. Amen, so let it be. Amen, so let it be. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. Any sin you confess tonight, it will forgive. It's the moment of his might. It's the moment of his might. It's the moment of his might. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell him, tell him. The moment of your joy. The moment of your happiness, the moment of your inheritance, the moment of your deliverance, the moment of your dominion. Tell him, tell him, you have it tonight. You have it tonight. You have it tonight. This is the moment. It will not pass you by. It will not pass you by. It will not pass you by. Joy, happiness, glory, grace, gift, goodness, healing, deliverance. It will not pass you by. This is the moment. This is your moment. The moment of his mind. The moment of his mind. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He answers every prayer tonight. He cleanses your heart. He changes your life. He will transform you completely. This is the moment. It's the moment of your victory. It's the moment of your victory. Giants will fall. The giants will fall. The giants are conquered tonight. All those gods, all those idols, all those magicians, they fall before you tonight. And the giant of infirmity, and the giant of sickness, and the giant of long-standing mountain, all those things are gone. They are gone. They are gone. They are gone tonight. You'll walk over them. You'll trample over them. Victory for me. Victory for me. Victory for me. Victory. Victory. Success. Abundance. Joy. You conquer tonight. You conquer tonight. You conquer tonight. It's there. The victory is so nearby. Stretch out your hand and get it. Stretch out your hand and receive it. He gives you tonight. Success. All those things standing in your way. They remove tonight. Remove tonight. The adversaries are conquered. The adversaries are destroyed. Open doors before you. Doors of opportunity before you. And doors of prevailing before you. Now you can move on. And now you can make progress. And now you can leave all those parts of darkness behind you. And now you can rise up and walk. Now you can open those eyes and see. Now you have all the inheritance of heaven available for you. And it says, rise up and walk. Rise up and succeed. Rise up and make progress. Rise up and move the mountain. Say to that mountain. Say to that mountain. Say to that mountain. Be thou removed. And it is gone. 
It is God. It is God. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Every prayer you pray here tonight is answered. Every proclamation we make here tonight is fulfilled. All the giants will come against tonight, they're destroyed. The powers of their gods, the authority of their gods, and the magic of their talisman. Tonight, 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 destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Infirmity gone. Impotence gone. It's gone. It's gone. Now you are complete. Now you are complete. Now you are complete. All the adversaries against your way, against your progress, all the adversaries stopping you. They come in the dream, they come in the day. They come through so called friends and they come sometimes directly like an enemy. And you stand tonight like a militant soldier of the cross. And whatever you say to those adversaries tonight, the defeated and conquered tonight, doesn't matter how long the problem has been there, 38 years, they're going tonight. 40 years, infirmity is going tonight. 60 years of an adversary is conquered tonight. And in nothingness, and in nothingness, and in nothingness, I have nothing, I hold nothing, I see nothing, I keep nothing, everything is empty, everything has been vacant. Tonight, there's divine supply. That giant of nothingness is cancelled tonight. Cancelled. Cancelled. Destroyed. One stone out of five will bring that Goliath down today. One prayer tonight will bring those giants down. Rise up and move. Leave all the fears behind you. Leave all the littleness of faith behind you. And leave all the faithlessness behind you. And just understand that now with the might of the Almighty, you're moving on, you're moving on, you're moving on, and you're going to conquer. There's no doubt about it. There's a surely, 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 he is my God. Surely, through him, I conquer. So surely, through him, I overcome. You overcome tonight without a shadow of doubt. This is your day. This is your moment. The moment of his might. The moment of his might. Victory tonight. Dominion tonight. Salvation tonight, holiness tonight, sanctification tonight, power tonight, fire power, fire power tonight that will burn every chaff out of your life. The moment of his might is happening, it's happening right there, it's happening right there. Sorrow is gone. Depression is gone. Suicide spirit is driven away. Free. Free. Victorious tonight. Victorious tonight. Having dominion tonight. Unconquerable power tonight. Every prayer that you pray tonight is answered. Tell him. Every promise to claim tonight is granted. Tell him. Every decree you make tonight is confirmed. Tell him. This is your day. 
Don't miss your chance. This is your day. Don't miss your chance. This is your moment. The moment of manifestation. The moment of miracle. It's the moment of progress. It's your hour. Claim it. Stand on it. Believe it. It's done. You feel the guilt of sin over there? Tell him, grace is available here tonight. Abundant grace here tonight. Sufficient grace here tonight. Exceedingly abundant grace here tonight. He forgives. He saves. He reconciles. He reconciles unto God. He enables us. And he gives us the power to go and sin no more. Is there tonight? Sickness will not abide. Sickness will not remain. Infirmity will not remain. Poverty will not remain. Barrenness will not remain, will not abide. What to say tonight that you are requesting from God? Every prayer tonight is answered. Accept the answer. Believe the answer. Confess the answer. You'll see the manifestation. The gift of God, abundant. The gift of God, sufficient. The gift of God, greater than your need. Available tonight. You're possessed tonight. Hold on to it tonight. Whatever you're asking the Lord. Whatever you're asking the Lord. Is granted freely. Granted fully. Granted sufficiently. Completely tonight. Completely tonight. This is the hour. This is the moment. The hour of his power. The moment of his might. Accept it done. Believe it's done. Hold fast. Hold fast. The confidence you have in the Almighty. Don't give in. Don't give up. Hold it fast. It's done. Hold it fast. It's done. The answer has come. Manifestation in your life. Miracle in your life. The supernatural power of God in your life. Count each done. Count each done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you. Praise him. Have unshakable confidence. It's done. There's an amen now in your life. Amen in your heart. Amen to your prayer. The Lord has answered you. The Lord has answered you. 
the Lord has answered you. Amen. In your heart, amen. On your way, amen. In your family, amen. Against every giant in your life, amen. The promise is fulfilled. The miracle is performed. The answer is given. Give an amen you are going to take back home. It's done. It's done. It's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up the victorious hand. The hand of dominion. The hand of victory. The hand of success. Whatever this hand touches will turn to prosperity. Whatever this hand touches will drive away every, every giant. You are getting to the promised land. I see the brightness on your face already. The joy, the excitement on your face already. I see the face of an achiever there. The face of a conqueror there. I rejoice with you. From this moment of his mind, things in your life will never be the same again. Keep those hands of Father in Jesus' name. We thank you for this glorious day. The day and the moment and the hour of your power and your might. Everyone here tonight, every prayer they have prayed, give an amen from heaven in Jesus' name. Lord, to every brother here, to every sister here, to every boy, every girl here, let the angels give an amen to their prayer. Lord, I pray all the powers of the gods of the hidden, they are broken down today in Jesus' name. Infirmity, impotence, sickness, weakness, demonic attack, go out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, incurable sickness, we reject them tonight. In this moment of his might, be healed in Jesus' name. Brain problem and insanity. Madness running in the family. All those psychological problems. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every adversary and every enemy that has followed anyone here and they cannot achieve, they could not achieve, they could not make progress. Adversaries, you are conquered in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray this state of having nothing, no work, no child, no wife, no husband, no prospect, nothing. And this nothing from year to year has been like a giant. Lord, I pray, cancel nothingness in Jesus' name. Abundant supply. Abundant supply. To take care of your life. To take care of your family. To take care of your children. To live a happy life. Lord, I pray abundant supply in every life in Jesus' name. Divine provision of prosperity, surplus, sufficiency in your life in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that the giant of terror, the giant of trouble, the giant of trials, 
the giant of Mr. Terrible, Mrs. Terrible, running after them. Mr. Terrible, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for every child of God here, every form of fear that gives you a setback. I cancel that fear in Jesus' name. Lord, all the storms in their lives, my brother there, my sister there, my child, my daughter there, storm, 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 be calm in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, open the windows of heaven. Upon everyone here tonight, everyone here tonight, without exception, open the windows of heaven. Shower it down. Blessing, shower it down. Provision, shower it down. Salvation, shower it down. Victory, shower it down. Oh Lord, breakthrough, shower it down. Testimonies over there. Testimonies over there. Testimonies over there. Oh Lord, I pray this will be the moment of turning and out of every life. It is done. It is done. It is confirmed. Confirm each and every life in Jesus' name. And grant everyone here tonight a testimony. Thank you, Lord, because we know it is happened. We well, thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Any amen there? Amen on the road. Amen in the way. Amen in the night. Amen in the day. Amen from heaven upon your life. And everybody said, I welcome you to Power Night tonight in Jesus' name. It's a night of verifiable miracles in your life. I see you, I see miracle. Looking at you, I see the power of God coming upon your life. Those who are here and those who are everywhere. As you hear the word of God tonight, know that this night in particular is for you. Yeah. And those on the internet and media, wherever you are, alone by yourself, and you are connecting, you are connecting with power tonight. Yeah. And look at you there, you and I tonight, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Are you ready? Why don't you raise up that time? Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you tonight because you are going to touch your people. Miracles tonight. Power manifestation tonight. Deliverance tonight. Moving up mountains tonight. Verifiable miracles in every life. Confirm it to Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, I read from verse 4. Surely, there's no doubt in the word of God. Surely, there's no doubt in the promises of God. Surely, there is no doubt in the manifestation of the power of God. Surely, he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. And he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Tell me what you see here. And with his stripes we are healed. Somebody there is going to be fulfilled in your life. With his stripes, we are healed. I'm looking at Matthew chapter 8, and I read from verse 16. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. When the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out, and he cast out, 
Every negative thing tonight, cast out. Every oppression tonight, cast out. Every tormenting spirit tonight, cast out. Anything tormenting your life, hindering you from moving forward. Everything you have feared until today, they are cast out in Jesus' name. And he cast out the spirits with his word. And he healed how many of us? And he healed how many of us today? And he healed all that was sick. But why? Because they shouted. Because they had great faith. No, look at this. It says that it may be fulfilled. God is jealous over his word. And God is jealous over the prophecies that have been made. And he wants to make sure that every word of his that came out of his mouth is fulfilled. That's why you are here tonight. There's going to be a fulfillment tonight. In your family, a fulfillment. In your place of work, a fulfillment. The word of God will be yes and amen in your life tonight in Jesus' name. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by says the prophet, saying himself, himself, not an angel, himself, not a man, himself, Jesus Christ himself, took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Thank God you got it tonight. Verifiable miracles. What kind of miracles are you having tonight? Say it aloud. Verifiable miracles. I'm looking at First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. I'm reading from verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness. The rest is for you to read out aloud. By whose stripes ye were healed. Tonight I'm talking to you on complete healing and health by his stripes. Complete, total, full, entire. There will be no subtraction in your miracle. I said there will be no subtraction in your miracle. Total, everything the Lord has for you tonight, you will carry, go home. You will possess. You will experience. I'll see it in your life. Complete healing and health by his stripes. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, the proclamation of your healing and health. Underline the word your. This one is yours. The proclamation of your healing and health. Number two. The prescription for your healing and health. That's a prescription. And once you follow the prescription, take the prescription, it is sure and definite. You are going to get your deliverance, your healing, your miracle, and the power of God will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Number three, the preservation of your healing and health. We get it, we're going to keep it. We get it, it's going to be permanent. You will not be up and down, in and out, and sick and well, sick and well again, permanent healing and health for every one of us in Jesus' name. The preservation of your healing and health. Point number one is the proclamation of your healing and health. You see, the Lord has made the proclamation. For you to understand is love for you, is care of you, and your expectation should match the pro proclamation of the word of God. I'm looking at Exodus chapter 15, and I'm reading from verse 26. This is yours. Say, this is mine. In Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, I will do that which is right in his sight. I will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. 
I will put none of, of these diseases upon thee. I thought somebody there will say amen. amen. Which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he let thee. You know, sometimes um, you look at things around you and you see something that should not be there. But you think in your mind, maybe that he put it there. And he has a reason for putting it there. And so you go by, leave that thing there. Or maybe it's the wife, it's my husband put this one here. He must have his receipt for putting it there. My wife put this thing there. She must have a receipt for putting it there. And then you ask, Daddy, did you put that thing there? No, I didn't. My husband, did you put that thing there? No, I didn't. My wife, did you put that there? No, I didn't. Then we can remove it. God said, any sickness on the life, on the body of a child of God, he has not put it there. We must remove it tonight. Jesus must remove it tonight. The Holy Ghost must remove it tonight. He said, I will not put, I will not put, I will not put on thee any of the diseases which have brought upon the Egyptians. I said, looking at herself, maybe God wants me sick. He said, no. Maybe once God wants me to suffer this. He says, no. Everything the Lord has not put in your life will be removed tonight. Every evil plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in your body, in your kidney, in your lungs, and in your livers, in your eyes, in your head, in your brain, in your leg, everything tonight, go in Jesus' name. And then he says, I am the Lord that healeth thee. What a proclamation. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Look at Psalm 107. I'm reading from verse 20. Psalm 107. I am reading from verse 20. It says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. I want you to understand the word is the servant of the Lord. The word is like an angel of the Lord that is sent to go and do something. And the servant of the Lord, an angel, or Jesus Christ serving the Lord of the word that is sent forth will not come back and say, you sent me, but I couldn't do it. Everywhere, every person, the Lord sends the word to, there's going to be an accomplishment. He sent his word. He sent his word. He sent his word. Tonight, he's sending the word of power into your life. The word of deliverance into your life. And the word of renewal in your life in Jesus' name. Those nerves that are getting weak and dying, life has come. The nerves in your eyes and the backbone and everything that is wrong with you, life has come tonight. Where is that life coming tonight? It's coming to you over there. He sent his word, he sent his word, he sent his word and healed them. The word cannot fail. Remember, he spoke, it was done. He sent his word, let there be light, it was done. He sent his word, let there be ocean, let there be waters, it was done. He sent his word, let the fish come out of the river, it was done. Anything he says, the, the devil cannot contradict him. Evil spirits cannot contradict him. Occultic powers cannot contradict him. He's sending the word tonight. I said he's sending the word tonight. And he's healing them, delivering them from all their destructions. Thank God the word is coming to you tonight. It will enter into your marrows. It will enter into your brain. All that is sanity, is sanity will vanish away. Madness will vanish away. Every yoke will be broken. I rejoice with you. The word is coming to you, setting you free. Look at Isaiah chapter 55, Isaiah chapter 55, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Ah, my thoughts 
I'm too sick. I don't think I can, I can get anything. That's your own thought. That's not the thought of God. I'm down. And the doctors told me that I have just a limited time to live. That's not God's thought about you. You have not finished your work here on earth. It's going to prolong your life. And it's going to heal you tonight. I see that healing coming your way. I see that deliverance coming your way. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, as the rain comes down, Look up here for a moment. Let's say, for example, rain is coming down. And somebody stands in the rain. And he has uh, whatever in his hand. And he says, say, go back, go back, go back. Can, will the rain go back? I said, will the rain go back? Showers of blessing coming upon you tonight, coming down. Go back, go back. Can anybody send it back? Showers of healing. Showers of miracles. Showers of anointing. Every yoke in your life is broken tonight in Jesus' name. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it to bring forth and to bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. It's going to perform healing. It's going to perform deliverance. It's going to give salvation. It's going to give freedom. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish in your life. It shall accomplish in your family. It shall accomplish in your place of work. It shall accomplish in your business. It shall accomplish in your ministry that which I please. What pleases Satan is cancelled. What pleases your enemies, they want to see you fall, all that is cancelled. What pleases the enemies of your progress, and they say he will not make, make progress, it's too late, the progress has come to stay. Because it will accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. He sent his word, he sent his word, and it will prosper in the thing which he has sent. Look at Mark chapter 16, and I'm reading from verse 15. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 and he said unto them go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature every creature every creature will enjoy the benefit of the gospel when they hear that gospel and it's coming to you today gospel of salvation gospel of healing gospel of deliverance gospel of grace gospel of power I lost an amen from that corner that gospel that comes to every creature tonight, there'll be an accomplishment. Look at verse, look at verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Thank God I am a believer. I'm a believer in the Almighty God. I'm a believer in the God that created the heavens and the earth. I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ that remains yesterday, today, and forever. I'm a believer in the Holy Ghost, in the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm a believer in all the promises of God. And then it says in verse 17, look at this. This one is mine. I said, this one is mine. I said, this one is mine. Nobody will take this one from me. You didn't say that for yourself. Nobody will take this one from me. You get it tonight. You get it every time in Jesus' name. And this sign shall follow. And this sign shall follow. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name 
they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Nobody will kill you before your time. In the village, nobody will kill you before your time. In the town, nobody will kill you before your time. In your office, nobody will kill you before your time. In the dream, nobody will kill you before the time. If you drink any deadly sin, it will not hurt you. They try to give you in the dream, you know something. You know, if somebody cannot give you something in day, day time, in life, and then he's waiting for when you are asleep, that one is a coward. A coward that comes to meet you in the dream. He knows you are sleeping, but you know, even when you are sleeping, there's a head of fire around you. I sleep, but my spirit is awake, and your spirit will reject every poison in the dream in Jesus' name. If they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And then, look at this one, look at this one. It says, and they shall lay their hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Tonight, you recover? Tonight, I recover? Say tonight I recover. So in verse 19, then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and he sat on the right hand of God. Oh, what's he doing there? He's making intercession right now as he's on the right hand side of God. What's he doing there? He's saying to the Father, Every word I gave the church must be fulfilled. That's what he's doing there. And tonight he's watching over us. And tonight he's saying yes to all his words that we're quoting. And tonight he's saying yes to all the word that is coming to you tonight. And he's watching over that word. And tonight you got it. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. The Lord walking with them. Is the Lord healing you tonight, walking with them? Is the Lord delivering you tonight, is walking with us? Is the Lord that is setting you free tonight, is walking with them, confirming the word or signs following? Confirming the word in your life or signs following? Signs are going to follow tonight. You will see your sign. I said, you will see your sign. If you are lame, you'll jump up and walk. If you are blind, you open your eyes and see. If there's any sin, any medical report you brought in here, we're going to neutralize that medical report tonight. Everything they said is impossible in your life. The God of all possibilities is here tonight. Is going to make it possible. Number one, number one, number one is the proclamation of your healing and health. Number two now is the prescription for your healing and health. The prescription, the prescription. Uh, if you've come across, uh, you know, a good a doctor before, and then they do medical tests, and they see what is there, they make prescription. And they give you this, they say, use this once a day. And once you use this, according to the prescription, the doctor will say, I am sure this sin will go. And then you come back in one week, and then you come to show yourself for a proof that this prescription actually works. And then you go, you take the thing in your hand. And then after you've gone faithfully, if they say 7 o'clock in the morning, you use that thing before breakfast, you do. Second day, third day, fourth day. And then by the time you come back, you are well. I said you are well. If your face is still looking like, what happened? The doctor will ask you, did you follow the prescription? And then you say, actually, actually, okay, I understand. You didn't take it as serious. You will start the prescription. Now, you know, doctors don't fight with patients. They say, you will take it again. But God's prescription, you'll take it today. 
and that prescription will work in your life. What's the prescription? What's the prescription? Look at Exodus again, chapter 15. And I'm reading from verse 25. Exodus chapter 15, verse 25. And said, if thou wilt, this is your own decision. And this is your own part. If thou wilt hearken to the voice of the Lord your God. That's the prescription. And do, and do what he has told you to do. That's the prescription. What is right in his sight. And give ear to his commandment. And keep all his statutes. That's the prescription. Then he says, I will put none of